This is the new Falcon Azenus FK460 Ultra High Performance All Season Tire. I know it's a mouthful, but today we're going to test if this All Season can stack up to the ultimate tire, which is the Michelin AS3 Plus. I've ran those tires on almost every single car that I've had. And I finally decided to switch to the Falcons because the price point is too good to pass up. So let's see how they are. So there's two questions that I want to answer in this video that are very important. The first is I have a V8 rear wheel drive manual car with 420 horsepower. Is an all season going to be able to handle all of my driving needs? Is it going to be able to handle the car in the winter uh, when it's snowing? Is it going to be able to handle spirited driving like right now in the summer? Is it going to be able to stack up well in wet conditions? That's something very important because as we know, a lot of people make fun of all seasons. They actually say that they're no seasons because they're really not good at anything. But I think that Falcon has found the secret formula to making a good tire. Uh, the second thing that we're going to want to uh, find out is we all know that the Michelin AS3, their all season, uh, high performance all season, is the best on the market. Uh, we want to find out if these compare. Uh, because remember, these are about $600 cheaper for a set over those tires. And if they do compare, that would be a pretty good bargain. So uh, let's, let's find out. Can a rear wheel drive 420 horsepower V8 car handle an all season tire? Like I said, that's the first question we're answering. And the answer is yes. Anyone that says an all season can't do, it's not good at anything, they're wrong. It, they, haven't, they haven't invested the money in a good tire. That's essentially what it is. Uh, because Michelin has proved that time and time again. And now with this tire, Falcon has proven that they have come into the game. Uh, this is really a fantastic tire. Uh, a couple weeks ago, there was some ice, a little bit of sleet. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have my camera on me, but these tires were handling really really well I was super super impressed something else that is really interesting about this tire is how it performs when you really get on it which we'll do right now um, I mean it just can grip the grip is insane my Bridgestones were uh, high performance summer tires and they could not handle this amount of grip. I mean, when I would launch it, they would just spin. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't grip. And these, just no problem. Look at this, this is mental. Can't really see uh, on camera, but that was a pretty sharp turn. So let's talk about performance of this tire, because uh, that's really what we care about. It's high performance all season. So. First impressions, this tire, it can, it can really keep up with the Michelins. Um, obviously, it's not going to be 100% there, but I would say it's definitely 90, 90 for sure, maybe even 95% of the Michelin. Um, something interesting is on the turning. So when I go on into a turn, it's just ever so slightly vague, just ever so slightly. I just want a little bit more feel out of the turning. However, um, that, you know, is more track oriented. And as I've been told time and time again, this is not a track tire. This is an all season. It's a do it all type of tire. So for what it is, I am in, I'm just blown away. I could barely speak. I'm extremely impressed with this tire. Um, something else is that they, this is a very quiet and smooth ride. Obviously, um, a high performance summer tire, 
has a very stiff compound for the most part. They're pretty loud, um, no matter which ones you have. Michelin's, they're pretty good at being quiet, but these are just so quiet and smooth, and it's just nice sometimes not to run a summer tire. Again, I, I am on coilovers, and I am running 19-inch wheels, so it's a pretty stiff ride to, to begin with. However, when I switched from the Bridgestone uh, summer tires over to these all seasons, I mean, it was a night and day difference. I mean, even these little bumps that used to just crack my teeth, they don't really do that anymore. And it's, it's amazing what a tire can do. It really, really is. It truly is the shoe of the car. You're probably watching this video because you're also thinking, hey, I have a high performance car and I like to drive it all all the time in bad weather, good weather, snow, sleet, hail, uh, back roads on a nice summer day. You know, you will maybe want to take it on a mountain trip in the winter. You need to haul some stuff. Whatever the case may be, you're looking for that tire that can do it all. The Falcon is it. It really, really is. I'm truly blown away. Um, you know, I really initially was going to go with the uh, Michelin Super Sports, uh, the Summers. But then I was like, you know what? This is my only car. It does snow here in Jersey in the winter. Not too much, but it does snow. And whenever it did, I, when I was on the Bridgestones, I had to take my wife's car, which is an Audi. You know, it's, uh, it's a cool car. It's nice, but it's not fun. It's not spirited like this car. Um, you know, the summers, they just, you really can't drive summers in the winter. And then they dry rot. That's what happened to me. Summer tires will dry rot even if you have them just outside in the winter. So even if you don't drive the car, but you have summers and you keep your car outside, it, it can dry rot. So keep that in mind. Having a high performance all season, however, will get rid of that issue completely because they're not going to dry rot. The compound is made for all sorts of different weather conditions. And it's just really, honestly, it's a good option to have, especially if you're like me and you want to drive your car all year round. Something else that I did mention before is that this is a rear wheel drive car. So some of you out there, you might have an all wheel drive car or maybe a front wheel drive car, but in inclement weather, probably the most dangerous thing you can drive is rear wheel drive if you don't have the right tire setup because you will spin out, you will hit a rail, you'll hit a wall. You know, the tire, it's really, really important. So just knowing that Falcon put the extra time to make sure these tires could do pretty much anything, handle any condition, and still perform the way that they do is very impressive. It truly, truly is. And I know I've said this 50 times already, this video, you probably said, eh, he's annoying, whatever. I truly mean that these tires are incredible, uh, unbelievable. And uh, when I get back to my desk, I'll show you uh, the pricing for these, especially on my car, because again, 19s and staggered, they're not inexpensive, but they're also not Michelin expensive. But they're 90 to 95% of what you get with the Michelins. All right, so we're back. I'm editing this video, and I just wanted to go over the cost of these tires. So the Michelin Sport All Season 4 tire, which is the uh, ultra high performance all season from Michelin is the most expensive all season you can buy and it's $1,200 for a set of four tires. It's very, very expensive. While the Falcon tires are actually the cheapest all season tires you can get on tire rack for uh, the car that I have anyway. And they come in at $862 for a set of four for my specific car. So that is 72% of the cost of the Michelins for a tire that is 90 to 95% of the performance. So I would say for 72% of the cost, 
it is more than worth it to go with the Falcons. Now, if you're a stickler for performance and it's all you care about and money's no object, then yes, the Michelins are going to be the tire for you. But if you're looking for a bargain, an absolute bargain, the Falcons are it. I honestly am only going to be running these tires from now on unless I uh, decide to change to a summer setup. But then I'm going to have to buy another set of wheels for, uh, for the winter, uh, which is kind of the whole point of this video. I didn't want to do that. So I, I wanted one tire that could do it all. And this is that tire. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, peace.